with your local weather authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice quiet conditions out there right now. Those winds are still going steady, but they're not nearly as gusty as what we saw earlier in the day. And thankfully, that, you know, those winds are calming down, but temperatures are really not backing off too much. We're still fairly warm out there, even though the sun has set a little while ago. It'll take a little while for those temperatures to back off, so a pleasant evening out here, if not a little on the warm side. Thanks to Roofs by Nicholas, though. We've got a good look outside at those conditions. And switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see really no clouds for almost the entirety of the Lone Star State. So if you like stargazing, tonight would be a good night to go check out those stars. Again, temperatures are fairly warm. Warm, so it should be pretty comfortable outside. And we were watching an area earlier in the day, those higher elevations, producing a little bit of cloud cover, possibly leading to some rain. But as you can see, that rain has exited West Texas and now looks like it's exiting into parts of mainland Mexico. It would have been great if we caught that rain, though. We could definitely use it. We've got a lot of dry patches here on our drought monitor, but we'll also get a new update to our drought monitor on Thursday. And I'm very hopeful that we'll see some improvements to our new update. Now, as we get to tomorrow, temperatures are going to look very similar to what we saw earlier today with low temperatures bottoming out at 76 degrees fairly early in the morning and sunny skies to go along with that as soon as the sun does come up of course and wind speeds will be hanging around that 10 to 15 mile per hour mark so still maintaining fairly breezy status we're at 16 miles per hour now and even as we get to about 12 midnight you can see those winds here in the basin don't quiet down at all we're still looking at about 20 plus miles per hour through the trans pecos for at least the next couple of hours as we get to tomorrow morning though you can see those winds actually finally begin to back off in the early part of the afternoon before picking back up right around sunset. So it is going to be another breezy day tomorrow and switching over here to our seven day forecast. We can see that temperatures pick up to 103 tomorrow. And remember, wind speeds will be hanging around 15 to 20 miles per hour once again. Thursday, though, Things begin to cool down. We'll be down to 100 degrees for Thursday afternoon, 99 on Friday, and further cooling down to 95 on Saturday. Maddie, Ozzy, that is actually below average by the time we get to Saturday. That's the first time in a while we see those low, well, kind of cool temperature <laughs> readings. I am so here for it. I've been wanting it to calm down, cool down. Um, very, I know. Very thankful. We'll take at least two degrees down, yeah. I guess. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Just two. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.